The oldest stars still shine in space. Many stars that were born early in the history of the universe are no more. Some exploded as supernovae, others turned into neutron stars or black holes. But not all of them died. Some still exist. Astronomers have just discovered a population of ancient stars orbiting the center of the Milky Way. The oldest stars are identifiable by their chemical composition, being mostly hydrogen and helium, with much less of the heavier elements than their younger counterparts, such as the Sun. These are the objects that astronomers from the PIGS, pristine in a galaxy survey, project came across. These stars, they say, have spent most of their long lives near the center of the galaxy. Stars, during their extremely long lives, take on various forms at some stage. Some of them explode as supernovae, others turn into white dwarfs, for example. However, this does not apply to all of them. Some still exist. The oldest of them are estimated to be 12.8 billion years old. The search for them has become the goal of a team of astronomers from the University of Cambridge. But how do you tell a young star from an aged star? Well, first of all, they differ in composition, i.e. in the content of elements. Cambridge astronomers are primarily looking for stars that are not heavily polluted. How should this be understood? The first stars in the universe contained mainly the lightest elements, i.e. hydrogen and helium. However, all other ingredients were created inside them. Therefore, when looking for the oldest stars, we should primarily look for those where the content of elements other than hydrogen and helium is relatively low. The degree of this content is known in the astronomical community as stellar metallicity. These oldest stars are most often found outside the Milky Way because they are easier to see there. However, the aforementioned Cambridge astronomers set themselves the goal of finding them in the most difficult to analyze location, namely in the center of the Milky Way, and specifically in the densest region of our galaxy, the central galactic bulge. This structure is thought to have formed when the galaxy was beginning to form. So it is perfectly logical to expect the oldest stars to be there. Besides, models of galaxy formation also suggest that the oldest stars should be located there, in the dense inner parts of galaxies. However, 
finding them in this region is difficult because there is a large amount of interstellar dust and other stars and objects in our line of sight towards the galactic center. Also, ancient stars usually don't shine as brightly as their younger cousins. Recent research has focused primarily on how stars move in this part of the galaxy. They give the impression of a chaotic bunch. Their orbits often take on unusual, unexpected appearances. But it cannot be said that their movements are completely chaotic. Their orbits are consistent with the rotation of the Milky Way disk itself. It seems important in this context that these stars have spent their entire lives in the center of the Milky Way. The shape of their orbits means that they are unable to move away from this place at a distance of more than 10,000 kilometers light years. By comparison, our sun is 26,000 light years from the center. Therefore, Astronomers do not have the opportunity to see them in a different, more convenient location for observations. Genetically modified probiotics saves from hangovers and prevents organ damage. Every well-drinked social gathering has obvious unpleasant consequences that we feel the next day. Many people would probably give a lot to be able to free themselves from this. It turns out that scientists are already working on it, and the results of their research so far are promising. The worst effects of alcohol consumption extend far beyond the head-splitting hangover. Alcohol leaves the body with lots of toxic by-products to deal with which can lead to serious damage over time. Of course, limiting alcohol consumption is the best way to prevent the negative effects of drinking, but Chinese scientists have developed an alternative method, a genetically modified probiotic. The new drug showed promising results in mouse tests. The easiest way to avoid a hangover is, of course, to drink less alcohol. However, for people who prefer to celebrate in the company of more percentages, a chance to avoid this unpleasant state is slowly opening up. Generally, when we drink alcohol, our body uses an enzyme called alcohol dehydrogenase, ADH, to break down its molecules. It is the concentration of this enzyme in the body that determines how quickly someone gets drunk. People with a high concentration of it are described as having a strong head. However, not all types of ADH are equally effective in this regard. Therefore, 
The researchers decided to take a closer look at them to select the one that would be best suited for a potential hangover treatment. And they succeeded. It turned out to be the ADH1B variant, which, interestingly, is widespread among the Polynesian and East Asian populations. And most importantly, this variant is about 100 times more effective at metabolizing alcohol than any other. Having already identified a potential therapeutic agent, one should consider what best non-invasive way to administer something like this to a potential patient so that it is safe for him. The answer to this challenge turned out to be probiotics, which are currently extremely popular. It was decided to use Lactococcus lactus here. This is a bacterium that is typically used. By an interesting coincidence, in fermentation, to make buttermilk or cheese. The researchers modified the bacterium to produce the human ADH1B enzyme and found this to be safe. However, at the very beginning it was decided to check using mice if something like this would work at all. These mice were divided into three groups of five individuals each, with the groups differing in the amount of alcohol administered to the rodents. This bacterium was designed to protect the camouflaged ADH1B from stomach acids so that the enzyme would not simply be destroyed in the digestive process. How were the tests conducted at all? Well, the level of sobriety of the mice was assessed by measuring the time after which the rodents placed on their backs were able to turn around again. And this is where the difference between treated and untreated mice became apparent and at the same time the effectiveness of ADH1B made itself felt. Half of the rodents that took a probiotic with an anti-alcohol filling were able to turn over more than an hour after exposure to alcohol. A quarter never lost the ability to turn around. The untreated mice showed signs of drunkenness and were unable to get back to their feet when placed on their backs. In other words, the mice given the modified probiotic recovered from alcohol exposure faster than the mice not given the drug. The experiment clearly showed that properly administered ADH1B helps to reduce the level of alcohol absorption, but also significantly reduces the duration of a potential hangover. What's more, it also helps protect a key organ for the body's functioning the liver. In those belonging to mice that took the analyzed enzyme, a much lower presence of lipids and triglycerides was found, which 
which are usually associated with damage to this organ resulting from alcohol consumption. All that remains is to wait for human trials.